What's up, YouTube? I wanted to give you guys an unboxing video of the Reef Keeper Light Plus and show you guys what you get with it when you open it. Now, if you want to read that stuff there, you can just pause the screen. Um, here shows you which model you ordered, which is the Reef Keeper Light Plus. And I'll show you guys uh, what comes with it when you open it. Now, here up top, you have your pH probe. Comes with a mounting suction cup and uh, calibration fluid. It's got the 7.0 and the 10.0. Here you have an accessory bag. Um, inside the accessory bag, you have a temperature probe uh, with the suction cup, uh, the USB cable to connect to your PC, and some bus cables to connect the modules together, and mounting screws. Now, at the end of the video, I'll go ahead and open everything up and uh, kind of show you how I'm going to map it out. Here you have a quick start guide and how to start the Reef Keeper and the do's and don'ts of connecting everything. Here you have the SL1 module. That's pretty nice compared to the Apex. This is a lot smaller. Um, I will be using this on my bio cube, so the smaller the better. You have a pH probe, temperature, uh, switch A and switch B for your float switches, and an ORP. And at the top you have two bus connections. It's pretty simple, not too complicated. Um, here you have the display module. It's nice and slim. The only thing I don't like about it is the size of the display screen and I'm sure most would agree it could have been a little bigger but it's nice and slim so that's all that counts it's not a uh, big old thing sticking out the side of your stand it'll kind of blend in and being black was a good choice uh, let's see here at the bottom you have your PC4s now the Reef Keeper Light Plus comes with two of them. I'm just going to take one out for now. Here's the PC4 module. It has uh, two bus connections here on the side to uh, connect and link the modules together. And it has an LED display to uh, show you the status of each channel if it's on or off. And um, it's pretty good. I mean, being able to split up the outlets, you know, four and four instead of having eight of them all together, uh, kind of helps you design underneath your stand. You know, gives you a little more uh, leeway as far as where you're gonna put stuff. Now I'm gonna go ahead and map this stuff out for you guys and uh, show you everything what it looks like. So this is what it looks like once everything is out of the box and out of its packaging. Now I kind of give you a, a general idea of how this is all hooked up. Uh, the SO1, which is basically the brain to your reef keeper, has the two bus cable connections on top. Now you're going to take your display module and plug it in to the first bus connection. Then you're going to take the longer bus cable and plug it in to the second outlet. Then you're going to run this bus cable over to your PC4 and plug it in to the first bus outlet. Then you can take this smaller bus cable and bridge a connection between the PC1 and PC2. Um, you're going to use the outlet number two and plug it into outlet number one. Then this outlet number two, you'll take your temperature probe and plug it into outlet two. Now, which I thought was kind of weird, is why would they have temp written on the SL1? and not have a connection for the temperature probe. But I guess they all have their reasons. Um, you also hook your float switches up to the SL1. Now there is a connection for the float switch. You can't just use any old float switch. Uh, you gotta have the adapter. So I ordered one from Digital Aquatics. Got it with the bracket. Um, here's the adapter that it needs. Now the reason why I'm bringing it up because the float switches that I use on my Apex you just screw in the wires so just a heads up if you go to buy a float switch for this thing make sure it has the adapter on it um, this piece here 
is so you can program it with your PC. Uh, you know, there's a lot you can do on a computer with it. But the only thing that I don't like is that with the way this setup is, you have to unplug something to connect this. Now, which I would have, you know, mentioned to these people if I was, you know, involved with making this would be to put a bus connection on a display module so that you can plug in your PC and do your changes. But unfortunately, there is not uh, an available bus connection for that, so most likely you'll end up uh, disconnecting your temperature probe uh, to connect to your PC. Here's the mounting screws I said it came with. And the pH probe obviously goes in the bottom, but you know, it's a pretty simple layout. It's not too complicated, guys. Uh, if you get yourself one of these, you know, you can definitely hook it up in a matter of minutes. Uh, you'll probably spend more time uh, deciding where you're going to screw everything down. And, you know, just make sure all your cables can reach wherever you decide to put it. Um, another thing, guys, get yourself one of these Tom's Aqua Lifters and get one of these brackets with a float switch and off the bat with this system you'll have an auto top off so it's well worth it you know online it was like an extra thirty bucks for these two things and it makes this uh, you know a little more useful so I hope you enjoyed the video happy reefing